Hello, and welcome to My Adventure Reborn, a series of videos exploring the vast lore of Maple Story through the journey of our rising hero, Rog Slayer. This series tracks my warrior's progression as I attempt to become a mighty paladin and one by one defeat the many quests and bosses from Henzies to Tenebris and beyond. I'm reinventing the way I play by intentionally slowing the leveling process to complete the quests in each region and discover more about the story behind the game I've always loved. I hope you learn something along the way and do enjoy. Hello and welcome back to another episode of My Adventure Reborn. Now before we get started, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to all the new subscribers and people watching this series. It has been so exciting to see viewers tuning in each week to watch the journey and I actually light up every time you guys leave a comment telling me you're enjoying the series or are into questing or enjoying the editing. After all, that's what this is really all about engaging with you and building a community around our love for maple if this is your first introduction to this series click the card on screen to watch my adventure reborn from the beginning and subscribe i'll be posting much more maple content alongside my other videos and i would love for you to see so after finishing stage one and two in our prior episode i now found myself back in the forest of endurance except this time it took a lot longer. My first two stages took about 17 minutes, which I didn't feel was too bad. I was just relaxed, having a good time. But these two stages actually ended up taking me an hour. It felt like a lot longer than that, but when I went back and reviewed the footage, it was actually an hour. As you can see, this stage was much more difficult because not only did it have platforms and spear traps as usual, but there are all these junior neckies, which I'm not sure if they follow a pattern or not, but it doesn't seem like it. They'll continuously knock you back and forth, and it wasn't till I realized you have to counter run into them to avoid the knockback that I was able to actually complete that stage. Now entering stage five, this part was much more relaxed, and I'd say it took only about 20 minutes of the hour these two stages took combined. This part had a lot of lupins that were throwing patterned bananas as you had to scale through these platforms. Luckily for me, they were a lot more forgiving with the landing zones midway throughout and after the total hour had passed, I was able to obtain the herbs needed for Hersha's quest. So herbs in hand, I left the Forest of Endurance and met with Hersha, who was happy to get his double ginseng root and offered me a nice reward. He talks about this star rock, which he says he found in the bottom of a valley a long time ago in the middle of a journey. He doesn't really know what it does, but he does give it to us alongside some EXP, fame, and willpower. If you guys know what the star rock does, leave it in the comment section below. So I finished up and decided to check for any common quests in Lith Harbor, Nautilus Harbor, and Sleepy Wood, but I found none. So I decided to head back to Anne and begin the Forest of Elodin, as requested by Tauntaun. Unlike some of the other few dungeons, I had actually never completed Forest of Elodin on any other characters, so I knew nothing about it. But it seems like it's about this character Anne, who is a young woman in Alinea, out in the forest, playing like any other child, when she notices bizarre sounds like monsters and screeching coming from the nearby forest. Suddenly this woman appears, veiled in black and completely scares Anne, at which point she runs back to Alinea and talks with us. She says she was never supposed to be in the South Forest in the first place, but needs me to handle this witch. So she recommends I speak to some of the other adults in the town and find out more about the South Forest. First off, I speak with Wing, who doesn't really seem interested in what I have to say. So I head to Arwen next, who mentions that no one really talks about the South Forest in Alinea. Finally, I speak with Rowan, who also mentions no one really goes there, primarily because it's dark. 
and that I should just not bother. After all, I'm better off here in Alinea where it's safe and bright. Despite the recommendations of the fairies, I still have a quest to attend to, and so I decided to head to the South Forest to see if I could make sense of what's really going on here. Outside of the portal that Anne found, I head in to find silence, followed by monsters screeching from all directions. When I come to, in this beautiful blue forest, quite the contrary to the prior cutscene, and no witch. But it is a pretty cool map, like seriously. I'd never been here before or seen any of the mobs, and that's actually a huge part of the reason I'm doing this series. Like, Maple Story offers far too many level 30 to 60 quests. Um, I'm already seeing from the series so far that I am going to vastly outlevel the content that I'm trying to use, but it's okay. I'm cool with taking it slow and doing the quests and leveling at my own speed because I really don't want to miss out on the cool little details like this map or like these thorny brambles. So I take the kill quest, which requires us to kill, um, I say 25 or 30 of each uh, in the first map and the second map before it actually allows us to head to the next area where I'm suspecting at some point the witch. So my character keeps having this internal dialogue, talking about how it seems like he can't get out and that it's been forever, almost like some Blair Witch situation. And then out of nowhere, pops the witch, or at least a woman robed in black. Just like last time, Anne, when Anne saw her, she seems to just scurry away with no words and certainly no spells. After following a little closer, you see the woman standing right outside a small cottage, deep, deep in the South Alinea Forest. And with that, she's gone. Appearing as if there's really no other choice, our character comes to this internal dialogue where he decides, as a brave adventurer, the only thing to do is really enter the house. And so that's what I do. After mustering up the courage, we enter the house to find it completely empty. No sound, no witch. Before I notice something weird in the corner. This black mass just staring at me. What is it? Well, whatever it is, it seems to frighten my character quite a bit before the woman in black appears right behind us. And with that, I'm out cold. The witch standing there before saying that was a bit much. <laughs> so I come to to these cheerful sounds and the witch right in front of me. Here I was expecting her to cast some spell or perhaps tell us to leave. Come to find out, she's not a witch at all. And that's where we're going to leave it until next episode. Thank you so much again, everybody, for subscribing, checking out my videos, and leaving all the positive comments. I appreciate it so much, and I'm really enjoying getting back into making videos, especially about something I love. So with that, happy mapling.